Hey, free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So, thanks to Nikoni, he has probably given us some insight onto what we can expect for Izanagi's kit in the next update. So, over here on the right, we are taking a look at Izanagi's uh, his skill set, or at least this is what the boss Izanagi has in the current PTR event, or rather the current Sea of Sorrow event in the PTR server. So let me quickly go through all of his skills over here and let me give you my final thoughts and what I think will be part of his kit based on whatever that we can see over here. So this is his first skill, Death Grasp. Attacks one enemy twice, damage per hit is 50% of his max HP and each hit absorbs 10% AP. This seems a bit overtuned because it's 50% of his max HP. I understand this. But the next skill, Thunder Surge. Attacks all enemies three times, damage per hit is 40% of his max HP, up to a total of 120%. Each hit has a 40% chance of inflicting stun for one turn. Amazing! Now finally his third skill. Abyssal Crossing, gains Reshomon, grants all allies recovery, attack up and crit rate up for two turns. Very similar to Dahlia except that we have an extra recovery here. And he gains one extra turn afterwards. So these are all of his skills and I will share my opinion a little bit later on. Now some of you guys might also be saying that okay, he's a boss so his skill set might be completely different from the actual Izanagi itself. Now let me show you what the Yuhime boss skill set is within the event itself. So if you take a look at her skills, this is her first skill. It is exactly the same. Oh my god, holy! It's exactly the same as her current skill set. Like her second skill as well. It is exactly the same. And her third skill, it is also exactly the same. So I'm gonna assume that his skill set would also be exactly the same. But I do feel like maybe the multipliers are a little bit too high just because he's a boss. But for the most part, I do feel like this Rashomon buff it is going to be within his kit. I, I am almost certain of it. So I think his third skill is probably going to be exactly the same. Because I don't think they are going to create a new buff just so that they can use it for just one specific boss and that's about it. I feel like it is possible that this is actually going to be part of his skill set. As for his second and his first skill, I feel like maybe the multipliers should be reduced a little bit and that might be it. So in terms of his stunning kit, I feel like this is still pretty much okay. As for the damage, maybe this would be reduced to about 15% for example and maybe for this it could be reduced to about 25% because at the end of the day we still have to check for defense and all that so the damage that he does might not be uh, as crazy as it would be but it's still going to be pretty crazy just because he is going to be potentially the first HP bruiser that we actually have. Okay, I know there are some other experts like Falcon or Ahmed and you build them like crit damage kit or something and they are going to do, I don't know, not good damage. Oh, and we have Everett as well. I totally forgot about Everett. But given his current setup, I feel like he is potentially going to be the first pure DPS HP bruiser. So he's going to start off with his Abyssal Crossing, gains Rashomon, increases his damage down by 20%, gains a whole ton of buffs for his allies, except the attack up is probably not going to be useful for him. Afterwards, he gains an extra turn instantly and he goes straight into his second skill where he has an AOE stun kit on his second skill that is going to scale off his max HP. So if you give him like 100,000 HP for example, he might possibly do about 15,000 with a crit that's probably going to go up to like maybe 45,000 AOE nil with a 40% chance of stunning per hit, right? So that's like actually a bit over <laughs> massively overtuned as well. But all in all, I do feel like there is a strong possibility that his kit is going to resemble something like this. Very, very similar. Maybe reduce this by a little bit. Maybe like 15% over here and maybe 10% over here. Or maybe 10% is still a bit high because he's three times. Maybe like 5% over here. And that will look a little bit more like Everett right now. But yeah, super excited about his kit. So let me know down in the comments below what do you think his skill set is going to be. Do you think it's going to look something like this? Do you think his numbers are just going to be adjusted? What do you expect in Izanagi's kit? Because as you can see over here, right, he is also a win type which is something that some players have predicted as well like previously people are saying that he's going to be shimmer type but then moving forward more people are suggesting that he's possibly going to be win type and not shimmer type and the best part is i am 90 percent sure that he is possibly going to be free for everyone so this extensive skill kit that he has is possibly going to be free for everyone so hope you guys enjoyed today's content if you did don't forget to give a thumbs up it really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content now that's it this has been very free to play and as always i will see you in the next video